Welcome back to Space Age Drawing, one of the first ones here, covering the basics. Today we're going to draw a cube. Doesn't sound like all that much, but it's one of the fundamental building blocks of drawing. If you're just starting out, moving into 3D, you need to know how to draw a cube. And I'm doing some rough sketching here in Adobe Sketch on the iPad Pro, where I start with a square, or at least something that loosely resembles a square. It doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just sketching. Sketch a square and then add some depth to it. I'm just making it up as I go here, but I'll show you in a, in a bit how to add an actual point for your perspective. Now you can use a ruler, you can use any number of other tools to draw straight lines, I'm just sketching. And I, I draw in Adobe Sketch, I copy the entire layer, and then I paste it into Adobe Draw. Both of these programs are free for your iPad. And they also sync up if you happen to use some, some more powerful software like Photoshop. You can drop stuff into Creative Cloud. I'll, I'll cover this stuff more in, in depth for uh, later advanced videos. But for the moment, it's a cube. Just a cube. It can be a cube of anything. Ice. Jello. It could be a cube of granite. Just a cube of awesome. You don't know. Just a cube. It's like we're drawing in Minecraft, sort of, but not really. And I'm going to add a black bottom to this cube for shading, and then we're going to put some color in there as well, just for fun. Adobe Illustrator Draw here is a very powerful program once you get the hang of it. I don't I don't typically use it for finished work. I'll I'll do things in Illustrator Draw and then send them over to Photoshop. But if you're just starting out, Adobe Sketch and Draw are just great programs. Very versatile. And of course, they're free. Now you can also use some plastic rulers if you want to draw some more straight lines. I wouldn't use a metal ruler on your iPad, but a plastic one works perfectly well. One of those flimsy plastic ones. And here's a perspective point in the distance. So if you're drawing backgrounds with buildings, this is helpful if you're doing comic book work or, or just drawing a cube like this. This may help you get the depth and the angles right and of course use your mind's eye to view this cube from any angle you can rotate it draw it from the top draw it from the bottom draw it from this side if you look at it straight on it's just going to be a square later on i'll cover cylinders cones circles For this cube, I'm adding not only some color, but a little bit of sketching lines to give it some texture. And then I'll send it flying through space. A flying cube of something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's a cube of joy. Why not? The internet needs more joy, and this cube brings it. Now, if you're just starting out and you can't quite get it right, your cubes don't look the way that they should. Try that perspective point trick that I showed you earlier. That's that's huge, and I'm just doing it freehand, uh, sketching, but if you use actual straight lines, whether it's with a ruler or some software, some software tricks, some software trickery, that may help out as well. depending on how perfect you want your cubes to be, and then have fun with it. The point here is to have fun. Make some cube monsters, cube robots, Rubik's cubes. I'm putting two cubes together here, and this is how you would do something like a brick. If you can't quite figure out how to draw a brick yet, put two cubes together, bam, you've got a brick. Or at least two ice cubes stacked one on top of each other. Great for a Manhattan. I'll see you in more Space Age drawing videos, drawing digitally, but everything that you see here can also be applied to drawing with pencil on paper, pens, crayons, anything really. 
cubes perspective. Very important when moving into three-dimensional drawing the building blocks of pretty much everything else. Subscribe to the channel, make sure to like this video, that's very important. And you can check out my books like Surf Panda, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, and the Space Age Drawing Instructional Series on Amazon.com. Thank you!